So today's video is going to be an updated how I do my nails or how to get acrylics at home. Actually, exactly one year ago today, I posted a video on June 29th of how I do my nails at home. And that video got a pretty good amount of views. And I thought it would be a good idea just to update you guys on how I do my nails currently. Sometimes you guys do comment on my nails that they look professionally done. And um, sometimes I do get my nails professionally done, but sometimes I do them at home. It's kind of just like whatever I'm feeling. But I'm not one of those people that like getting my nails filled. So once my um, nail salon acrylics are gone, they're kind of gone. And then I just do them from there until I want to get them redone. And I know that's kind of a waste of money. And um, I know that you could kind of keep up with filling them in and it would be cheaper. But I just don't like doing that. Also, I thought this would be a cool video idea because since it's exactly a year ago, you guys can kind of see the improvement on how I look in general, how my video quality improved, and just how I do my nails differently because things have changed. I just got in a different taste and style now. I like my nails way longer. I use different nails and just like little things like that. So yeah, let's just get into the video. I'm pretty sure it comes with like 500 or something. But um, yeah, it comes with lots of different sizes. Some look fuller than the other just because I don't use every single size. But um, yeah, these are the long, these are actually tips that are supposed to go on like the top of your nails. But I use them for my whole nails. Don't comment on that because that is just the way it fits my nails. I know it's stupid, but that is just how I currently do it. These are the old ones I used to get and these are the new ones I used to get. As you can see, they're way longer and they're not squared off. You can kind of shape them to what tip or what finish you want so first before i do anything i'm gonna start off by hand sanitizing my hands i'm just using like any hand sanitizer from bath and body works i also washed my hands but i'm still gonna hand sanitize just to get all the other bacteria off so i do use their glue this is their maximum speed or max speed drying nail glue they're all the same it came in like a pack and one came with this so for my nail polish today, I'm going to be using 272, it's called Lucky You, it's like a pinky color, 1005 Dazzle Me Pure Ice um, Nail Polish. This is a top coat, but I'm going to layer it to make it an actual glitter nail polish. And then I just use any top coat that I find first. This is the LA Colors base and top coat. So I'm just going to size it out, that one fits my pinky, so I'm just going to kind of line them up in order okay, so here is the set I came up with I do have fingernails that are on the smaller side so it is a bit difficult for me to pick out ones that actually fit me especially these kind because they are meant for just the tips of your nails but um that's fine. So I'm going to start off with my pinky just because it's easiest for me here. Um, I'm just going to take a dab or two and I'm just going to apply the nail. Since these are longer, it is easier for them to come off because they do get caught on every little thing, especially when you're opening things or This glue is actually super hard to get out of the container. I usually have to end up like poking it a couple of times just because like this thin needle has like a hard time getting through. That's how hard you have to squeeze this glue. I guess it's so it doesn't dry out, but every couple of nails I do have to do that so it comes out easier. If you pick the short square nails for these, go all the way to the base, but the only reason I'm not doing that is because these are for the tips. So I'm kind of lining it up where my finger goes. I know lots of people are going to comment on that's like the wrong way and like you totally shouldn't do that. But um, this is the way that it works for me.
and I cut down using this little cutter. Don't try scissors because for these nails, just trust me. This was like four or five bucks. I think it might have even been three. Um, this is definitely under seven dollars for sure. So just like for that better looking nail and cut if you're gonna go with these long nails, definitely spend the extra money to make them look better. I don't like them too long, but um, I don't want them too short either. Probably like right there is still a bit longer. Um, and always go longer first. You never want to cut them too short. I would say those are about right. Now I'm just going to cut down the thumb. This is the hardest one for me just because I can't really compare them to the other nails. Um, this part is all a guessing game, especially when you're doing it on yourself. So I might have cut that a bit too short. I cut my thumb a bit too short, but it's fine. So now once my nails are all glued, I'm just chopping them down. I kind of just chopped off the top bit first just so they weren't as long and then I sized them off from there and I made sure they matched up with the other nail. For example, matching the pointer finger up with the other pointer finger and I really wanted this part exact and um, just line them up and make sure they really do match in length. These are super sharp because I just cut them, so I'm going to go get a file and file them down real quick. When I file my nails, I'm not going to change the shape or anything. I'm just going to kind of make it so they're smoother and not so um, sharp. Now you're going to move on to painting your nails. Everyone has their different preference of how they like their nails painted or how they paint them. I'm going to start off with this base coat first. I'm actually going to put in a time lapse of me painting my nails just because for the time sake of this video, I don't want this video to be incredibly long um, and it is just going to be painting my nails. Everyone paints their nails a different way so this is kind of the part where you can do whatever. I didn't get a chance to clean it up because I did get nail polish here and right here. I don't know how I manage sometimes, but um, yeah, now I'm just going to take a Q-tip and I'm going to clean up just around the edges where I got nail polish. But other than that, I think I did pretty good with the nail polish. I mean, I'm not left-handed, guys, so this hand's a bit rough, but this hand, I feel like, looks pretty good. 
So that was it for this video. Thank you so much for watching. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. And also comment down below what types of other videos you would want to see from me next. Maybe if you want to see more nails, because I rarely ever post nails on this channel. Or if you want to see more makeup, more hair, etc. If you want to see tutorials, just comment down below what type of content you guys like. Subscribe to my channel, turn on all of my post notifications so you don't miss a future video. And thank you so much for watching. I love all of you so, so much. And bye, guys.